everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to do just a real real real, real simple design uh, using a pouncing tool this is a Martha Stewart it would be a large uh, I will provide a link down below I do believe it's a different link I mean it's a link to a different product that they don't actually I don't have a link to this particular product I've had this for a long time um, so I'll go ahead and provide a link that gives you a product that's similar. I'm also going to be using an a, a Magic flat brush. This is the number 12. I'll also have links down below, affiliate links you can purchase through, and then a fine liner by Westodia. Alright, paints I'm using are all folk art paints. I'm using Apple Red, Happy Green, Evergreen, and thick it. I do use a mixture of the multi-surface and the enamels. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take this pouncer, put it into to my apple red, and now you can pounce it off a little bit before you put it onto your project. Just depends on uh, how much paint you need. And that looks like it covered pretty well. And I'm just going to just kind of stagger these a little bit, go back over it again, and then do one down here. With something like this, you could just do it where you just are doing the, the flowers themselves and no other leaves around them. Alright, so then I'm going to take my flat brush, dip it into my greens, and so basically I'm going to have three different shades of green, and this is kind of a, uh, I don't know, kind of a funky flower. You, because of the colors, could use it as a Christmas decoration, especially if you're in a tropical area. Maybe it would be more appropriate, but I'm just dipping and I put the two lighter colors on the left side. Alright, so what we're going to do is just do your simple pull from the center, pull out and turn. And you can go any direction you want, doesn't matter. I kind of like to give them a little bit of movement. And I'm actually going to layer. So this is going to be two rows instead of just the one. And this is why I say because I'm using the Christmas colors, if you probably be more appropriate for the more tropical area, for some reason this this flower reminds me of more of something you'd find in a, in a, in a tropical area. And this is why I say, you know, colors a lot of times can determine what you use it for as opposed to being distinguished by the flowers themselves. Of course, there are flowers that are Christmas flowers. I'm not minimizing that, but I'm just trying to give you easy options so that you can be creative. Gonna hang up the side here a little bit. Pull it out. Like that. I think it's cute. I really do. I think it's cute. Hope you like it too. If you're new to my channel, please know that I do provide very simple designs. That's my intention. It's not meant to be difficult to do. I want to encourage you to find a relaxing hobby. Something that's good for stress. Which I think painting and being creative, at least for me, I know maybe not everybody feels this way. It's a great way to relax. Put on some music that you like and go to it. 
All right, so then I'm going to come back over it, sticking with all these colors that I've already been using. I'm not going to change them up. You could add some white in here if you wanted. And keep in mind, too, when you're layering like this, what are you creating? A more durable design because you have more layers of paint. And trust me, if you have a good layer of paint on, you're not going to be able to easily scratch this paint. It's not going to happen. Just not going to happen. And I hope you don't mind that I'm moving this around. It's one advantage of painting with something that is movable. But I think even though it's kind of unique, it's still pretty. And I like to add lights to my bottles, so having a Christmas theme and adding lights be pretty festive. And we'll be done soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I don't mind when an item that I'm painting actually overlaps. That makes it more natural looking. Definitely makes it more natural looking. What do you think? So let's go ahead and throw another one in there make it look now what you could do I think they're fine just the way they are but if you feel like you need to go back over the centers feel free to do so I am going to try to put in a stem which the way this is looking it's pretty full but you know you could do it down here just a real little stem or you could just leave it out so if you don't like this part, by all means, just leave it out. It's not necessary. But I wanted to add a couple little leaves in here, and that's the only reason I'm doing it. All right, so I'm going to put my, go back to my colors, put a little bit of these colors in here. All the greens, just like what I have in my flowers. And then... I am going to just do a, just a brief little wiggle, come back up the same way, and turn my brush. And then do the same over here. I'm going to do it with the green on the outside, though, so you can see it. And swing it out. And this is your stem. You can come back through it. You can leave it with just the two leaves, or you can... Uh, add more if you want, but again, I did I did big. I'm I'm really good at doing big <laughs> I don't know why but I am Anyways, I hope you like this video if you do give me a big thumbs up new to my channel Please subscribe hit that notification bell and before leaving if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends I would greatly appreciate that until the next time Please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one